Hi everyone, this video is about notebooks. Now, this is my work notebook. It's an A5 hardback, ring bound. It's from Lyrico. It's an A5. Now, I use this one because it's company issue and I quite like it because there's room for my Parker Jotter to fit in the ring, ring binder and it has decent lines and I get it for free. So I, I use this at work every day and it's perfect. If I've got an A4 piece of paper, I can fold it in half and it fits into here. But for outside of work, I've been looking for a pocket notebook and this is not pocket size. So I decided to look at a whole range of options and I went down a bit of a rabbit hole on this. So I went through some of the usual suspects, which we'll see. I also had a go at making one myself. So these are all budget ones. I don't think any of them cost more than £10. I think most are less. And I've tried them all out to a certain extent. Some I just didn't like much. Either didn't like the format or didn't like the paper. I'm going to go through each of these. As well as this, I've got a couple of other bonuses as well. I've got some interesting pen loops and a really nice notebook holder as well. So stick around to the end. Some great stuff to show you. I'll go through each one. I'll go through the format, how many pages it has. I'll go through the size and everything. And I'll tell you a little bit about it. So I hope you found it useful. Why not leave a comment to tell me which pocket notebook you use and, and do you carry one every day? I don't at the moment. I've been trying some out and I do plan to carry one in my pocket all the time. The other thing that I'm looking for is something that will fit in my jeans back pocket or maybe the front pocket of shorts. So something that isn't too bulky. And as you can see, all of these are pretty small. You might recognise some of the pens from my video about mini pens. If you haven't seen it already, check it out. I'll put a link in the description where I went through a whole load of mini pens, budget ones, and found out some great options, which I'll try and show you again as I go through here. But please check out the other video or wait until you've watched this one though. So let's move on to the first one. I'm going to start with this one. This is the right in the rain, all weather. And, uh, it's waterproof, it has 24 pages, and I have to say, I just I just didn't like it much. I think I've torn a page out to use for something. I ended up putting some post-it notes in as well, which don't stick very well to this. Um, the paper I found wasn't that nice to write on, and um, yeah, I, I just didn't like carrying this. I see a lot of people carrying these. Um, in their EDC on YouTube, I have to say they nearly always seem to be unused. Just to go through some of the facts and figures. So as I said, it's 24 pages, um, which is 12 sheets. The cost is about three pounds or four dollars each. You can buy them in a three pack, either for $13 or 10 pounds. Now you can't dry you can use any ballpoint um, if you want it to be waterproof you have to use pencil or crayon or the right in the rain pen some of the benefits of this it has an index which i guess is quite good and it has a ruler on the back but i i, I don't know what it was i just didn't like it much you you can't use water-based inks or highlighters either i put this hair bubble round um, just to keep it together and to keep the pen with it, although the pen can fit on it. This pen is the uh, Magin Mini Ballpoint, so have a look at my video for that. So that's the right in the rain. It's three and a quarter inches by four and five eighths, or 80 by 120 millimeters. It's pretty lightweight. I think it weighs in at 21 grams or 0.7 ounces. This one is the A6 notebook from Asda. Now, Asda is a local supermarket in the UK. Originally, it was owned by Walmart. Now, it's an independent. Now, this cost me £1. 
it's probably only available in the UK. I'm sure that Walmart or other supermarkets do something similar. It has about 80 pages and weighs in at about 70 grams. So it's not bad at all. It wasn't too bad to write on actually. I, I've used it a bit. I don't want to show you too many of my notes because uh, some of them were for future videos. It didn't have a pen loop. So I added this self adhesive pen loop on and I'm using it with the online mini twist ballpoint. So, but you could fit a bigger pen in there. I'll talk about these adhe self adhesive pen loops later on. So I found this pretty good. For value, it is excellent. So you don't need to spend a lot of money on a notebook if you just want to start taking notes. I'd recommend this. It's got the elastic around it and it has uh, it has a, a ribbon in there to help you keep your page. So you could use this for a diary, for morning pages, for any notes uh, or anything like that. So that is the ASICS notebook from Asda, but check one out in your local supermarket. Following on from that, now I should have got some field notes, but at the time they weren't easily available on, on Amazon. So I bought site notes, which is a cheap knockoff of field notes. Now, once I got them, I actually regretted these. These were super cheap, so at $2 or two pounds each, they have 48 pages which are lined and with squares. They're five and a half by three and a half inches. Weighs in at 27 grams or one ounce. It also has ruler and um, two rulers and some conversions which are quite useful, although I guess most of us use our phones now. So it's a nice little notebook. It actually wasn't too bad. The paper seemed really cheap and nasty, but it wasn't too bad. To write on. I used it for notes so I could keep check of some physio that I was doing. And um, so not too bad. Again, I put one of the pen loops in. So these cost about 50 pence or 50 cents each. So around that, but they, they do make it easier to use and easier to carry. So not bad. Next, we have the moleskin. So this is five and a half by three and a half inches or 90 by 133 millimeters. Now these were nine pounds for a three pack uh, and they're $10 on US Amazon. So around about three pounds, three dollars each, which I thought was really good. They have 64 pages and these are really nice to write on actually. So I like this a lot. It has a pocket at the back to keep receipts or other things in. So the weight is 1.4 ounces or 39 grams. Now, the reason why I haven't got a pen loop on this is that I used it in a leather cover, which I'll show at the end, if that's OK. Really like this, can strongly recommend it. Nice paper to write on, small lines so you can write um, quite fine on there. You can always miss every other line if you want. I was taking some notes from from a video here, uh, from a few videos. So worked really well, like that. So that's the moleskin. Here we have the police style notebook from Tiger. So this was on Amazon, and it's a flip top type notebook. It comes with a pencil and it has its own pencil loop. Now, I, I don't like the loop much. It's made of paper and I imagine this will tear. The pencil is obviously fine and it has the elastic keeping it closed. So the size for this is three and a half inches across by five and a half, so fairly standard size. It has 96 sheets or 100 and 92 pages. So, so you get a lot for your money here. The paper is thin though, and not one of the nicest for writing on, but great value for money. And I found it quite easy to write. Ah, so if you haven't already, please leave a comment.
it really helps me know that I'm making the right sort of videos. I'd love to hear what sort of notebook you're using. So please don't forget and leave me a comment. This weighs in at 3.2 ounces or 95 grams. You can get it on Amazon for four pounds or $4.50. So that is the Police Star Notebook from Tiger. Next, I have another notebook of the same sort, a sort of a pocketbook. This one is a pucker pad and it's an A7 pucker pad. So very similar. This has an, an elastic loop, so you could put a pen in. It came with a pencil and you can see I've used this one quite a lot, actually. I, I quite like using this. The paper's not the best, but it's better than the Tiger paper. And I use this a lot for doing my three key targets and a few other notes that I was taking. So um, really nice to write on. You get 200 pages. It uses 600 GSM lined paper and it weighs in at 3.7 ounces or 105 grams. And this costs $6 or four pounds. So not bad, still a good price. I like this. If you like this style of notebook, I'd like this more than the Tiger one. It seemed a little bit more robust and the paper seemed nicer to write on. Now, before I go to the next notebook, and, and there's only one left, I just wanted to show you a homemade one that I had. So when I was first looking at this and, and when I wanted to start carrying something, I thought, well, what can, what can I do? So you might recognize this. This is a typical Amazon cardboard envelope. Uh, I had this and I had a load of index cards. So I cut it down to fit. And these make great things for taking notes on. And you can just throw them away when you're finished or keep them together if you like them. Now the pen I've got with this to keep it all lightweight and super minimalist is the Zebra Mini. And check out my video to find out more about it. Being a Zebra, you know it writes well and it's a really slim format, so it fits in easily. And then just to keep all of this together, I just used a Bulldog clip. And if you want a super cheap option, because the index cards or revision cards, you can buy those about a hundred for about a pound. And you've probably got most of the other stuff laying around anyway. So if you want to do a homemade one, just have a go. So with 24 sheets of the index cards, so that gives me 48 pages, this weighs in at 32 grams or 1.1 ounce. That's excluding the pen. My final notebook. Now, this was one of the ones that I like the most, actually. This is from London and it's an A6 notebook. It's from Notes from London. So I use this quite a lot, actually. It's nice to write on. It has... 160 pages, so that's 80 sheets. I quite like it that it has an option to put the date on at the top. And it comes with a pen loop as well. And a really nice envelope at the end. So I used it a lot with this Zebra Expands. It just seemed to fit nicely and it's, it's a really nice pen to write with. It also has a ribbon to keep your place as well as the elastic over the top but I quite like I quite like the feel I mean it's 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 a plastic cover it's, it's not that special but it feels nice it's nice to write on this cost five pounds it's also available uh, for four four dollars fifty for a very similar one but a slightly different name it weighs in at 3.7 ounces or 106 grams and it's the five and a half by three and a half inch format or uh, 90 by 142 that's including the the pen loop so really like this one I'd certainly recommend it but what's my favorite option now if I was going for a standalone one I would use this I think it's reasonably good value for money it's nice to write on you get a lot of pages on it but the bonus thing I was going to talk about 
The bonus thing I was going to talk about is this. So this is a Hurt leather cover for a notebook. Now, you can put the field notes in, or I used it with the with this, with the moleskin, because the moleskin fits in perfectly. I was using it with a Magin, but you can even fit a Parker Jotter in there, or as well, the Zebra Mini is perfect for that. And the nice thing about the Zebra Mini is that it you don't know it's there, which is brilliant. It's got some slots that you can use for credit cards. I use those for my channel cards. Just as a shout out, that's my email address if anybody wants to contact me, and that's my Insta handle. If anybody wants one of these for what it's worth, drop me an email with your address and I'll post it to you. So this works really well and it fits in nicely. It's it's nice to carry. It's not too big that you can't fit it in, in jeans pockets. It won't fit in a front pocket really so well unless you've got say cargo pants on or that sort of thing. Fits really well in a jacket pocket, but I, I really liked using this. It made it feel a bit more special. So if you think that this is only 8.95 for this, and, and I'll put links to all of these. Um, uh, I got most of them from Amazon. I'll put links to all of them in, in the description. So please check those out. If you combine it with the moleskin, which costs three pounds. So the whole thing there, is, is only 12 pounds and then the refills are only three pounds a time and you get plenty of pages. So 64 pages in each moleskin. So I think that's a really nice slimline option to carry. So that was my bonus item. One more, I was checking out these self adhesive pen loops. I'll put a link to them in the description. They work out at about 50 pence or 50 cents each they come in a multicolor pack i've used up all the less garish ones already but you get pink and red black all different colors white uh, i've given a couple away as well these are really useful if you've got any notepad of any size and you want to have a pen loop with it if it doesn't come already then you can use those as well i hope you found this interesting so these were my two main choices either the moleskin or the london notes a6 which was good, but to be honest, you could use any of those. If you like the police style flip up notebook, then I'd recommend the Pucker pocketbook. I hope you found this useful. I really enjoyed checking these out. I'd love to hear which pocket notebook you use if you do use one. So thanks for watching. Why not check out this video or this playlist and I'll see you in the next video.